So DB dropping this one. Uh, look at this custom artwork. Look at that. It shuts and then it opens. Custom splash screen. Let's even load a game here for a second. I think there's. Look at that loading screen as well. Test your might. And then it loads the game. Yes. So if you want a fighters only image, it's 32 gigabyte for the Raspberry Pi 4. This is DB's first time making an image. But uh, so far, just the artwork and the detail put into this is fantastic. Uh, you can see it's running great. I'm on a Raspberry Pi 2 gigabyte model, Raspberry Pi 4 2 gigabyte model. And uh, the controls work great to begin with. It asks you for controls. It does come with background music. And the cool thing about this image is really the, it's going to be the uh, artwork. And we're going to get into that in a second uh, as we jump into this image. Starts up, ask for your controller, that's a good sign. Let's uh, turn off the background music really quick. So honestly, the first thing I would do is actually turn off that splash screen, just because it's, it's a little too long. Um, <laughs> so every time you boot this thing up, it takes a while. Um, if you're okay with that, then you can go ahead and keep that going. But uh, here we go, splash screens. You can just disable it and just make the boot time. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click this, disable splash screen on boot. Okay. Supreme Team base image on it, you get all these extra scripts and things like that. Um, N64 adapting video settings. You can see all this custom artwork scripts that he installed to help him with everything you're seeing here. He gives a huge thanks to DeMeso as well as Hursty for his, um, you know, artwork theme academy. And uh, it shows with this particular build. So here are some of the categories. You have your actual game collections over here. And these will be duplicates. Like for Street Fighter, it'll grab all the different Street Fighters, whether it's an arcade version of the Street Fighter or like this version right here is a Naomi version of the Street Fighter. Um, all games, it's 107 games total. They're all arcade games. Oh, it does look like there's some PlayStation and some Naomi, but there's no uh, Super Nintendo or uh, Mega Drive, it looks like. Um, so mostly all arcade style games. I don't know why Shutdown got its way. Oh, it's in all games, got it. Um, so you can see here a mix. So let's go ahead and go into them. Each favorites is blank. You can add your own favorites. I wonder what favorites looks like. Okay, cool. Got a little Ryu in there. Recently played. You can see all the games you recently played. And again, look at this artwork. You know, it shows that little, uh, I don't know what you call that, but the, the shutter, the, the eyelid, if you will. And uh, then it gets into the video snap. And everything about this is custom. Everything from what keys to press to the video snap. It's, you know, the video snap itself has, it's very different custom video snap versus what you're used to with other builds so that's really what we're getting into in this whole build is just how custom it is so arcade we got 39 games total i'll do a quick browse through on some of these 
uh, Marvel Street Fighter versus Superheroes for Street Fighter. So there you go. Okay, so it does look like this A and X button is pretty standard on all the games. And then the music is kind of short, right? Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's very interesting take on this. Uh, I love seeing stuff like this because it's just, you know, something new, something different. So it looks like, you know, the logo and, and then the, the, the actual, um, the video snap in the middle though, it puts that little smaller one in the middle. Primal Rage version 2.3. Initially, he wanted to put uh, Killer Instinct Arcade on here, but as you all know, and he came to the reality that it's just not possible on the Raspberry Pi 4, um, you know, to uh, to get it working so well. So nice. Some of the artwork looks a little pixelated, I have to say, but um, it still looks really cool. Versus. Um, this would make a great arc, you know, to put with the arcade stick. You can get like a cheap Dragonwise one, or you can get something like a lot nicer, like an 8 bit dough uh, fight stick. Uh, a Thomas Wave, you might want to overclock a little bit for these to run even better, but they do play. Same with Naomi. But Naomi, for the most part, plays a lot better than a Thomas Wave, in my experience. Dead or Alive 2 drops the video snap here. Really cool. And then he has a Naomi BIOS on the bottom. You don't want to play that. But uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So like I said, uh, you know, he has the eyelid there. This custom, like, uh, I don't know, the skin that goes on top with, like, the logo and the start button, the A and the X. Um, which is pretty much the same as just the logo in the upper right corner changes. And then you have like two characters that surround the video snap there. And uh, then you have the video snap. And then each game has its, you know, different logos at the top, each system. But uh, overall, really cool. So if you're into arcade fighting games, um, this is a really cool little image. Uh, initially, he said it was going to be 128 gigabyte. Uh, but he pie shrunk it down to 32. It's a really fast download. You can get on arcade punks. Power is just a power script. PlayStation 5 games, Mortal Kombat 4, Tekken 3. So a lot of Mortal Kombat on here. And we'll actually see that in a second when we go into the games here. So Art of Fighting, you got three. Breakers Collection, you got two. Capcom Collection, you got five. Dead or Alive, you got two. The PlayStation 1 version of one, and then Naomi 2. Dragon Ball Z, you got two games. Fatal Fury, you got seven games in that series. Guilty Gear, you got six. The King of Fighters, you got 12. From, from 99 to 2003. The Last Blade, you have two. One and two. The Marvel Collection, pretty much the Capcom Collection, it looks like, with like one other game. Uh, Melty Blood, you got two. Mortal Kombat, you got six. I'm partial to this one myself. Uh, more fighting games. Okay, so these are kind of the one-offs, the ones that don't have a collection. like Primal Rage, Tekken 3. I mean, there was more Tekkens on here. I feel like it can... Rumblefish 2, Samurai Stunt Showdown, six. Okay, here you go. Street Fighter, there's a lot. So, I feel like this a lot of the influence is from Street Fighter in this particular build. Uh, Darkstalkers, four. And then All Games 107. So, um, I got to play the obvious choice here, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Street Fighter. So, let's go ahead and load it up. Custom loading screen. Test your might. Fight! That's pretty rad. That's really cool. Now, it's the same for every game, though. It's not game-specific. And it looks like the bezels are going to be the same for every game. They're not game-specific. Now, you can absolutely download the bezel project and install that and then have those bezels. 
he mentions not to um, add your own games. The reason being is it would throw off the whole theme. So when you add a game, it's not going to have all that custom artwork. It's going to look kind of funny when you're scrolling through that those those games I was just showing you, and then they don't have, you know, artwork. So I'm hitting select for coins. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, and uh, should be fairly easy to get this set up. And as you see, it's running pretty good. So as I mentioned, this is his first image ever made. Ooh. And then let's try Mortal Kombat 3. Click into the game. Test your might. Fight. So what do I think about this image? I think it's cool. The reason I downloaded and picked it up, I was like, this would be great for a little arcade stick build. And, uh, you know, I saw some of the artwork and I was like, that's actually pretty cool. So that's really why I want to check this one out. It's really just to... Uh, enjoy all the custom artwork and man is it it's pretty nice it's really nice um to see something a little different i like that it's a small uh build only 32 gigabytes so the download's not very big and uh it's for the raspberry pi 4 you know we had a lot of these little custom things come out for the raspberry pi 3 and for recall box and things like that um and uh so it's nice to see um oh i'm sub-zero i thought i was um Oh, that's the uppercut. I thought I was uh, somebody else. But this is just as easy. Right? This is how you play this game, right? Um, anyways. So I, I saw this uh, image and, uh, you know, it looked, uh, it looked pretty cool. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I hit enter again. Um, so the artwork's really on point. Like I said, a lot of custom images, but some of them are older now, and so getting one fresh with Raspberry Pi. Nice image from the Supreme team into Meso. I mean, it's got a lot of little bells and whistles here, but it's just, you know, no frills. You could just, you know, 32 gigabyte cards are so cheap, right? So you just download, get a 32 gigabyte card, download this, you label the card, my fighting image, and you swap this in anytime you want to play some fighting games. It's clean, it's to the point, you don't have to scroll around all the time. And like I said, the artwork is really cool. Performance-wise, it's going to perform just like all your other images. So for all those reasons, I think it's pretty cool. You know, like I said, not the kill, not the one image you need, you know, not a 512 gigabyte, that's that's all you need, but you know, a, a purpose built, having it on the side, it, you know, costs you less than $10 uh, to, to get the image, you know, with the SD card. So and for all those things, it, it's it's a little gem for that reason. And this is uh, DB's first image, so awesome. Thank you for sharing to the community, DB. We hope we see a lot more of you. And, uh, you know, good work. Nice, nice, um, nice vision with this one. But that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.